Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. On behalf of Arlington County Government, thank you for joining us this morning as we gather to commemorate the anniversary of the terrorist attacks of September 11th, 2001. We come together today to honor and remember the lives that were lost and to express our gratitude to all those who responded on that day and every day since in service to their fellow citizens. Please stand for the presentation of the colors by the Arlington County Public Safety Combined Honor Guard and the singing of our national anthem by Arlington County Police Department Officer Jennifer Levy. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet Ladies and gentlemen, please join us now in a moment of silence in memory of the nearly 3,000 men, women, and children who lost their lives 17 years ago today. 9.37 a.m. is the time that American Airlines Flight 77 crashed into the Pentagon, killing 184 people. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our elected and senior appointed officials. Arlington County Board Chair, Ms. Katie Crystal. Board Vice Chair, Mr. Christian Dorsey. Board Member, Ms. Livy Garvey. Board Member Mr. John Vistat, and Board Member Mr. Eric Gutschall. <laughs> yes.
United States Senator Mr. Tim Kaine, United States Congressman Mr. Don Beyer, State Senator Ms. Barbara Favola, State Delegate Mr. Alfonso Lopez, State Delegate Mr. Rip Sullivan, State Delegate Mr. Patrick Hope. And Mark and Senator Mark Warner. My apologies. From Fort Myer, Lieutenant Colonel Josh Gillen, Command Sergeant Major Jay Grow. Arlington County Manager, Mr. Mark Schwartz, Acting Police Chief Michael Dunn, Acting Fire Chief Joseph Rochetter, and Sheriff Beth Arthur. On September 11, 2001, people here in Arlington, in New York, in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, started their day like any other. The day was clear with a bright blue sky as summer closed. At 9.37 a.m., members of the Arlington County Fire and Police Departments, the Sheriff's Department, along with their counterparts from Fort Myer, the FBI, and response agencies from across the metropolitan area, went to work to care for the injured, control the fire, manage the hazardous materials, and deal with the collapse of the building. Civilian and military members of the Pentagon workforce acted heroically, assisting their comrades from the building and in some cases entering numerous times to search for others. In the end, 59 people on the aircraft and 125 in the Pentagon perished. These 184 souls ranged in age from 3 to 71 years. As we pause each year on this anniversary to remember, their families are reminded of their loss every day. Since 2001, hundreds more have died as the result of cancers or illnesses associated with their rescue and recovery efforts. Among them was Arlington County Police Officer Harvey Snook. We should never forget those who initially survived but lost their life tragically in the end. At the Pentagon, the response and recovery efforts lasted for 20 days. As that work ended, the community began the healing process and the responders intensified their efforts to prepare for a new generation of threats. For the members of our military, September 11th was the beginning of a new mission unbroken over 17 years and stretching to all corners of the globe. Since that day, just as with every day throughout our nation's history, these courageous men and women have answered the call of their country, sacrificing so much and at times sacrificing all to protect our nation and the world from threats to our safety and security. Among those, is the USS Arlington, one of three naval ships commissioned to honor the victims and first responders of 9-11. Today, the ship sails the global seas in service to the defense of our nation. When we say never forget, our remembrance must include the commitment of our nation's armed forces. Their enduring sacrifices cannot go unrecognized. Chief Joe Rochetter, Chief Michael Dunn, and Sheriff Beth Arthur will now join the Arlington County Public Safety Combined Honor Guard at placing the wreath at the flagpoles to honor those who lost their lives on this tragic day 17 years ago.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. Please keep those who lost their lives in your thoughts and prayers throughout the day. Thank you for attending.